I'm not sure how many videos you can upload at a time, but this is the second video I was on about. I'm still not showing my face because it's literally just after I recorded my first video. But basically, this is going to be about how I need UK PonyCon people. So every single UK PonyCon person who's going this year, um, just watch this video. Unless you're, you know, unless you don't find it, but I will be messaging everyone this link. So if you have found it, then thank you for pressing on this link. Because I need your guys' help, so I can, you know, know what to do, know what to bring at UK PonyCon twenty eighteen. So, you go pretty good. 2018 is next week in Nottingham. I'm so excited. Uh, last year it was in Leeds, which is cool. And no, is it was it in Leeds? I don't know. Yeah, I think yeah, it was in Leeds. It, I mean, tw 2016 it was in Leeds. I didn't go last year, but this year is in Nottingham, and um, I know that MLP Fever lives in Nottingham. But the sad thing is, is that. Not MLB Viva, uh, Alice LPS and MLB Stop Motion, I all think are going on the Saturday only. And I'm so upset about that. I was so looking forward to meeting them in real life and I just got let down because, you know, they're, they're only going on Saturday. So I was really upset about that. But one person who is going on Sunday is Ellie Monty. That in My Little Pony. Well, I mostly know her for the My Little Pony, but some of you guys might know her for other things. But I know her as the best My Little Pony impressionist on YouTube. I remember when um when she did Dark Horse and that was released. I wrote down all the characters and all the lines they had to say, and I tried recreating it. And I, do you know what? I tried so many times. I ended up like singing the actual thing but without recording it like it was annoying because like the one attempt i had i was just practicing and actually got it all right and over the times i made a mistake when i was recording but i really really enjoy her uh, my little pony impression um, impressions with video, impression videos um so i cannot wait to see her on sunday i know what she looks like and everything but I just know her mostly for My Little Pony Impressions. She's my first and favourite. <laughs> Sorry, guys. She's my first and favourite uh, My Little Pony Impressionist on YouTube. And I at least now know someone who's going who is famous, basically. Because MLB Fever, MLB Stop Motion and Alice LPS weren't going. So I was like, on the Sunday... Well, I don't think they are anyway, because they're saying all about their panel on Saturday. They never said anything about going on Sunday, but I think all of them are going on only Saturday. So I was really sad about that. But then I found out when I checked on what what, what schedule were schedules were that Marl and Eddie Monty will be having a panel, and I'm like on Sunday. And I'm like I'm like no way. Uh, so any of you guys who uh want to be looking out for me at UK PonyCon, then. I will, will will be showing you what I will be wearing. You know my face already, so look for my face. Also, like I've already said in my last video, I will be live streaming on my Cavendish Collabs channel, and all the information about that will come out either today, sometime this week, or sometime next week before Saturday. Because Saturday is the day before UK PonyCon, and I don't want to tell you a day before all the information. So I will be I will tell you by next right by next Saturday. So, um. So basically, I can't live stream on this account because I got uh, banned from doing that till like the middle of November. So my Camber Dash Collabs channel, if you want to do what Camber Dash streams is, that is basically my Camber Dash Collabs channel. But um, it's just going to be where I live stream until November. Uh, that's also my backup account or my second account, you would say. But yeah, another thing is, any anyone... Anyone who's going to UK PonyCon, I should have said this at the start, but go down in the comments right now and comment who you are. Then, once you've commented down below who you are, just say me if you're going this, if you're going on the Sunday only or the weekend, you'll be on the Sunday as well. Um, they don't they don't need to put hashtag box swap if you're allowed to bring a box or package or whatever along with you for me and i will do the same back if you just put me and you're not allowed to do the box swap uh, and you don't put hashtag box swap then that is completely fine 
I might or I may or may not give you one present, but you're going to get way more if you give me something back. Um, and if you just comment random randomly, but you're not going this year, then that is completely fine with me. I understand that some of you aren't going, but I will be messaging all of you guys who are saying that you're going on the Sunday through MRP Fever um, and some other probably pretty popular YouTubers' videos. And I'm going to count down how many people I know out of them and how many I can make friends with. So I'm only going to be giving presents to the people who I've known longer on YouTube, not just random strangers who I've never met before. Um, so that would be like MRP Art Blossom... Um, what was the name? MLP Art Blossom, MLP Action, MLP Extra Rainbow, MLP Soda. Those type of people I'll be giving presents to. And you never know, I might give um, a present to Ellie Monty as well. I do not know yet, but I might do that as well. It all depends on how many people who are, I'm going to be meeting in real life. Because I've got more than six, I think, or seven, or eight or nine, I don't know then I probably will have to not give a present to anyone to. But if, there, if there's less people I'm supposed to be giving presents to, then I will just give Ellie Monty a present as well because I'm very, very excited to meet her in real life. Honestly, I think Ellie Monty was one of the first ever YouTubers I watched which had something to do with My Little Pony because I'm not sure if you watched my video, but like the third or fourth, my, my first, my third or fourth ever video I made was an MLP impression video because I got inspired by Ellie Monty to do an impression video. So she is a very, very long, like, she, I've been watching her for a very, very long time. So she's one of the first ever pony tubers I've watched on YouTube. I know the first one I've ever watched was Yum Soda. She's definitely the, uh, she definitely one of the first because my couple, a couple of videos after my first video. That was an impression video up because I got inspired by her. I remember who it was. It was Ellie Monty. So I've been watching her for over two years now, three years in December. So yes, I don't watch her other videos as much, but I definitely do watch her My Little Pony impression ones because I love My Little Pony. So I will watch her My Little Pony impression ones. I have a look at some others, but I'm mostly interested in My Little Pony videos. But yeah, sorry about my sorry about my voice by the way. Also, you know, that's not little, like, if you went, like, last year or the year before, most of you wouldn't know, but I went the year before, um, in 2016, but you get these, like, these little necklace thingies, like, that you wear around your neck, and it has, like, UK Pony Con Sunday on it. Well, I found that little, that little necklace thingy, not with the UK Pony Con 2016 thing on it, but just the actual little necklace, and I was like, oh, oh gee, it's like a collector's item now, I should, like, treasure that, because, you know, but, honestly, the only thing I'm a bit worried about is, is that because 2000, because Generation 5, or Generation 4.5 has come out, I'm thinking, oh, no, is N is any G4 is going to be left, because, you know, if Generation 5, or generation 4.5 uh, has come out you know are they going to be selling g4s anymore i'm hoping they are because that's the type of ponies i collect unless they're boys i collect my lot of ponies generation 4.5 or 5 if they're boys like soren and big macintosh yes i finally found big macintosh um at poundland the other day for two pounds and i was like oh gee that's amazing so, yes, I finally now have my hands on a Big Mac. I'm so happy. But I was hoping that um, the Generation 4 ponies will still be there because those are the main ones I collect. If they're not, then I'd be pretty sad about that, but I'll just have to, you know, live with it. I'm hoping they are because I would have thought that they, there would have been at least one or two stalls with Generation 4s on. But I'm only I'm, the only thing I'm worried about is that if... Generation fours, or most of them, all sell, sell, all sell, sell out on the Saturday. But in other cases, they might just leave the ponies behind the stall for a day, like some ponies. So they have a whole day on Sunday because lots of people are going on Sunday as well, or weekend passes, so they come on both days. So, they're going to save at least half of their bunch. So, honestly, guys, now I'm thinking about it, it's not much to worry about, like, if you don't get your hands on Pacific Ponies. Just try and get 
the pony you've been dreaming for. Like, my dream pony uh, was... What was her name? Oh, my God, I forgot. How have I forgot? I'm really good at pony names. I forgot what this flipping pony's name is. Oh, no. What was it called? I forgot what it's actually flipping called. Uh, but... Well, in Diamond Rose, it was like, I don't know. I see, I went to mental, mental block time. One of them was Daisy Dreams, and one of them was Diamond Rose, because I got, um, last year, no, in 2016, when I went to UK Pony Con, I found a Daisy Dreams, and it was for £15. And I found another one for £8, but no, my dad said, go and look around on the other stores and to see if you like anything else, and not just get that. I went and looked around, Said, yeah, I want to get that. Went back to Daisy Dreams is no, long, no longer there. I literally, I don't believe it, but I walked past so many rare ponies that I now only understand are rare. Like, that just makes me so annoyed. Like, some of the ponies which are, that were really, really cheap, though, like with the Sunshine Petals one which I got, that was what, like seven quid? And it's usually like, what? I don't know. 15 20 quid so i'm really i'm really happy i got that that's the one thing i like about conventions is that they're cheaper than what they are online because my friend apparently got star swirl the rarest pony on earth at a pony convention for like she said like 11 or 12 euros which is i don't know 11 or 12 pounds i don't know but that is so cheap because i checked on amazon um, and it's, like, £150, and I'm like, what? So, you know, with those rare ponies around, you know, you're getting a bargain there. That's what I like about conventions. My dad's like, you can get all this cheaper online. So I see a star swirl. I don't know if it's star swirl at the time as the rarest pony ever, but I see her get purchased anyway, but I missed my chance. So I was like, that, that pony looks cool. And he's like, oh, well, you can get it cheaper online. Checked online. One hundred and fifty pounds. He was wrong. <laughs> like she was being sold she, she was being sold for about twelve pounds. And I what past it, I was like, Oh, that's a cool pony. She did it for twelve pounds. He's like, that's pretty expensive for a pony. He probably should probably be much cheaper online. I walked past it, I check on my phone quick, it says one hundred and fifty pounds. I rush back and it's gone. And I'm so annoyed with my dad for saying that. But anyway, guys. Just let me know down in the comment section below if you are going to UK Protocon this year. I'm so pumped for it. It's only next week. We've got Thursday, well, today, Friday, weekend. It's going to be based on my, uh, it's going to be based on UK Protocon. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then that's when you can start getting excited about UK Protocon. Because I remember I could not stop thinking about it. Like, it's two years now, but when I went, I was so hyped. Like, after I left, my that same feeling I had when I walked in that door was still there with me. And that lasted about a week, because all I could think about was that like, pony convention. Honestly, guys, it was an amazing time. I so much enjoyed it, and I cannot wait for this year, because there's going to be people I meet as well. So, honestly, guys, I'm so, so excited. I'm going to end this video here because it's getting very, very long, like 13 minutes long. I love you all, guys. Make sure to smash that like button down below and comment if you're going to UK PonyCon on the weekend, like Saturday and Sunday or Sunday this year, and I will beat you. Love you guys. Bye.